Hi everybody, it's Trisha from Hunter's Habits and we're opening a box today that I received on Friday. I'm so excited. I'm sorry, I received it on Saturday. I've, I've got Friday stuck in the brain. And we'll do that right after this. <music> I want to thank, I ha put out a big thank you for uh, my patrons, but especially to Ron Kruger and a new patron this week, Dusty Ling. Okay, everybody, it's time to open the box. I got this on Friday. FedEx drove up in the driveway. I did not expect them. I'm sorry, not Friday, Saturday. And we had a full weekend planned. So today is Monday. We're going to open it up together. You'll hear my birds chirping in the background and maybe a dog bark every now and then in case you haven't seen my videos before. But look what he brought me. I had been waiting for two years for this box. I bought my Air 2 in July 2017. The maker came out just within weeks after that. And I couldn't buy another machine. And so, finally, I have it. And let's see, the way we're going to open it is by turning it over. We're going to open it on the bottom got my knife here i'm gonna slice both ends without cutting myself i hope this is an old trick i learned in retail you open things from the bottom Put their flaps out. And then when you take it out of the box, everything is setting correctly. Okay, let's slide it up. There it is, guys. Isn't that a beautiful box? They designed it just for us because you can just look at that box and go Ooh, ah. <gasps> yeah okay this tells me all the tools that i can use in it and i know it's upside down for y'all because we're going to look at it all the right way shortly now everyone can make something they love okay here we go now do we want to open this from the bottom sure we do I'm gonna keep this box too because it's got that handle on it and until I can get an actual carrying case for it. Okay, I'm gonna slide these out. These are two mats. The pink one being the fabric mat and the blue one being the light grip. So that's telling me that our per first project is probably going to have fabric and paper, I would suggest, so, uh, uh, expect, okay. Lay that over here. Those will flatten out shortly. We're gonna get our flaps out of the way. Okay. 
By doing it this way too, you don't have to do quite as much lifting. Okay, here we go. Oh, isn't it pretty? Now, inside the box is also our Let's Get Started box. So I don't want to forget that. Okay, I want to keep these in case I do want to carry it somewhere. I will have that support in this box until I get the cushion wood. Okay, so let's put that aside. Hoo hoo hoo! I'm going to go ahead and lift it out of the cardboard. And that's where I will find our cord. Now this cord looks very similar to my Air 2 cord, but I have, after watching some videos that Cricut actually made, it tells me that this one is specific for the maker. So I need to look at it and see the difference between it and the Air 2 so I don't get them mixed up. I've got it stuck over here. Hold on just a second. Okay, let's get it out of the package. I'm so excited. Y'all just don't know. Y'all just don't know. Every time I saw a new tool come out, I wanted this so bad. Okay, let's look at the cord first. One step at a time. Because the minute I unwrap it, I'm going to want to plug it in. Okay, we've got this little Velcro piece. And we've got this. So that, that can reach a pretty good distance. That's good. I always keep my little wraps somewhere. Okay, and I want to make sure that's plugged in good. Okay, now if you want to look at it in the box of my Air 2... You can see quite a bit of difference. The lights are different. And let's see, down on this end, this is my Air 2, and this is the Maker. Okay, so this is the Air 2 with the little diffuser box. I think that's what, diffusion box, I believe it is. Plug that back in. Get that out of the way so I can see a difference. This one doesn't have that, so I know that this one is the Makers. And I'm not going to need to unwrap all that. So let's slide this back down. Which I'm taking up your time by doing that, but it also gives you an idea. If you don't need to unwrap all this, don't. That just means it's extra cord that you have laying around. Okay. I'm going to put the Let's Get Started over to the side. Here we go. Drum roll, please. Alexa, drum roll. I don't know if you can hear that. Alexa's in the other room. <laughs> and it's wrapped nice and neat, shrink wrapped even. So I got to get my knife back out. Can y'all see that? Ooh, pretty, pretty. I don't want to scratch her, so I'm just going to barely make a little slot here. Maybe right here. And as I'm tearing this off, I want to tell you that just yesterday, I was telling someone how I'd waited for two years, and then finally I took this leap of faith. And that's exactly what it is. I 
I knew she'd bark. Okay, just drop the mat. That's okay. I'm going to leave it at a slant so you can see it. And then I'll reposition the camera. Let's see, where do I plug it in? Right here. Oh, even the end of the cord. This is a round one. Oh, that's a round one too. But it's, it's the Air 2 is black. Or at least mine is. Whereas this one's white. I'm sure the newer ones may be the white also. Hush, baby doll. Okay, plug it in. Now get ready. Safety measure. Take that off first. Y'all have no idea. You really have no idea. Okay, it's plugged in. I'm going to reposition the camera so everybody shut your eyes. Sorry about that. It's the only way I know how to do it without putting this on the tripod, which I probably should have. I've got it on my social media extended stand. May have to change that out. Okay. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Is it still on? I didn't push a button accidentally. Okay, all you have to do is lift this right here. And it opens by itself, guys. Oh, that's so neat. Remove this. And I guess it's time to let's get started. This is where I would put pins. This is where the rotary blade, the scoring wheel, and the, oh, what's the other one? The knife, the knife are located, will be located because it has that unique wheel up here. And this is where I can store the ones I'm not using. Now I have to say my scoring wheel and my knife is not supposed to be here until Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe of next week. And I heard that there's a new magnetic strip right here to hold blades to keep them from falling out. And all of my tools, let's see, let's grab a couple. All my tools can go here. My extra blades can go here. My, like my scoring wheel and my scoring knife. Perfect. I like the fact that it has the extra compartments and here we can put tools. Or we can put a few pins. Okay, let's get started, it says. Inside the let's get started, the materials for my first project. I'm going to lay them over here to the side. And then it says, open me first. <laughs> well, okay. We'll open it in a minute. You'll see it from a different view. Then we have this wonderful book about getting started. And we'll look at it in just a moment. I'm going to put it in a different view for you. 
and here's that magical rotary blade okay and that's the one that I can store inside there I believe that's all that I have whoop nope there's more guys I have a fabric pin we'll stick that up here oh and two these can be put up here outside of the case because the bottom right here is cushioned and it's okay for the blade or whatever to hit that without damaging it there's baby doll and this is for in case you ever have to hook it up directly to your laptop so i won't have to do that probably i say that now and it might happen but i'm gonna stick it over to the side and then here is my warranty information oh and here is my cap to protect myself from the blade and also i think you use this cap it's very important to hold on to this when you change out your little rotary wheel which i won't have to do anytime soon but i do need to buy some extras of those if i'm going to be dealing okay let's look at what was in that box you know the part that says open me first here we go number one unleash this beauty you know i've read where people let them sit in the box well mine sat for two days and it was about to drive me crazy. I got up this morning probably an hour earlier than what I normally do. Number two, get connected. Well, we've powered in. Oh, let's see. It tells you on the back. Okay, plug in and power on your fabulous new Cricut machine. Number two, get connected. Just go to Cricut.com, set up, and we'll walk you through every step. We're going to do that. Uh, yeah, we may do it this video. We may do it next video. Number three, make a little something. We should probably do it this video for those that are just opening theirs. During setup, we'll make a practice project. Now, that I know for sure we're going to do on the next video. So, this one doesn't run into being an hour long. And they give you the materials for that. And then bookmark that page. You're going to be coming to it often. So, make sure that you bookmark Cricut.com create. Okay, and I'm going to show you some places on Cricut.com that you'll want to know about during this video. Okay, let's look first at the book they sent with us. Sent with it, or sent to us with it. It's the welcome book. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't have a glare. Ready to get started? says our online guide will walk you through how to set up your machine create your account and make a project to begin go to cricket.com setup okay i'm gonna have to take a light off we've got one too many lights today and now it's not focusing come on focus 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 turn the light back on never know what it's going to do around this house okay here are all our instructions it goes over welcome get it up above the light welcome including in the box making the basics design space the library projects materials tools mats, accessories, and Cricut reference. Sorry, that's blurry, guys. I thought it was going to show up very good down here, but the light is too much. And as you turn the pages, you can see it helps you quite a bit visually. 
Now, that's, that's where I'm going to be turning over into the screen in a minute. Because I could read all this and forget it when I go to sleep tonight. I'm a visual learner. I have to, isn't he cute? I have to be able to see things, not just read them. Okay, so I will look at this in the morning. <laughs> and, you know, we'll, I watch them introduce the maker. I watch the conference and all that online with Melody Lane and Ken Hess and Annie Tay and all of them. And I had already purchased my Air 2 and I just almost cried. I did cry, I think. But uh, I had already researched. Before I bought the Air 2, I had researched for two months trying to just to make a decision if I was going to buy one. So, do your research, watch our videos, and hopefully, I go a little bit slower than what some of them do, so hopefully uh, you'll choose to subscribe to my channel and watch, uh, but I always recommend Melody Lane, and uh, Ken has some good instructional videos, Laurie Nunemaker, and Carol's Crafts, she's got some great stuff going on. I recommend all of them out there doing it. Uh, they are Cricut product experts, and they know the ins and outs that I'm still learning. I'll keep learning till the day I die. Uh, now here is our materials for our next project, and we will get more into those in the next video like i said i don't want this one to run too long so let's get on to the display there we go on the computer i pulled up cricut.com for you now you would put a backsplash setup uh, and we may do that before we leave this video but i wanted to talk through you on some of the things that if you're you're still thinking about making a, a purchase that you might want to look at beforehand. And right off the bat, we see that they have scheduled a maintenance for Wednesday at 1 o'clock. I'm in Central, so that's going to be Tuesday night at midnight for me. Now, I may be on my cricket, or I may not, but now I know not to be because it's going to take approximately four hours for them to do this update. And I cannot wait. I'm hearing all sorts of good things that's happening with our design space. Now, right off the bat, you see about our new infusible ink. And I say our because I'm an affiliate with Cricut and I get a small percentage when you buy through the links that are in the description. But it costs you nothing extra. So if you do decide to buy, please use the links below. I appreciate it greatly. Okay. We go to the bottom of the page, and you've got a blog here. If you like following blogs, this always gives you good tips. Look through that. This help. All you've got to do is type it in, and it has all the answers for you. And then learn. That's where we're going today, is the learn part. And I've already got that tab pulled up. And here it is, the Cricut Maker, and we're getting started. I think when you click on this, let me go ahead and do it. It gives you choices on what you want to learn. Here we go. You've got Design Space, Cricut Maker, Easy Press 2, Explore Air 2, and so on. Even accessories. It tells you all about everything that Cricut offers us. So when I clicked on Cricut Maker, this is what I got. Right down here, what would you like to learn today? Well, we want to get started. So, right off the bat, we have two videos. There's my visual learning that I need. It's what's in the box, which I've already showed you, and then a machine tour. And then it offers you selecting some projects. Now, I'm not going to go through this page by page. At some point down the line, we might, but... 
I'm going to click over here to the last page and the last thing you see is congratulation, congratulations on completing your journey. When you play that video, that's just what they do is congratulate you on your journey. But I want to tell you also, those people that I mentioned before along with myself, uh, we're here to guide you, help you. I will make a video if you send me a text and say, I don't understand in design space how to weld or why I can't slice this. I will make you a video and put it specifically for you, for whatever you're having problems with. And I post it on YouTube, but I guarantee you it will answer your questions if you cannot find the answers through any other means. And I'm not saying, you know, try there first. I'm saying you you can all you have to do is is text me, message me. Through Facebook, I have Hunter's Habits. Send me a message and we'll get it done. It's that simple. Okay, next, it takes a look at the manuals. Now, guys, if you like to read, here's the place to go. Now, I am on, it has it for Mac, PC, iOS. Okay, so if you're on the, we have an app that is for your tablet and for your phone. So, you've got this for those questions. And then I'm on a PC right now, so I'm going to click on that. And it tells us everything we need to know. Now, you may not understand how they told us. So that's where we come in on YouTube. Look at all this. Print and cut. So many questions about print and cut. Purchasing images. Can we use them? Can we not use them? How do we use them? Putting an image into the designs. Cutting. The do's and don'ts. What mat do I use? Well, I use a blue one for paper, but you might see me use a green one because the sticky's not any good anymore. And I'm not going to throw it away until I can't use it for anything else. And no, I'm not going to re-sticky it. Okay, pens. Selecting pen color. We've come out with infusion pens. Go out and check some of those videos. I can't make any yet because I don't have the product yet. But that's okay. And you always want to be signed in. Now, when I go to click on sign in... I'm already signed up, but you would need to, if you're a new user, go over here to create a Cricut ID, and it asks for very little information, just enough to get you started. I'm going to sign in right now. I said, computer, I'm going to sign in right now, and right off the bat, it tells you my account and has what memberships I have, like Cricut Access, my email preferences, my address books, and where you can create a wish list for items. This is my last order, and guess what it contained? Items for the maker, so I can start showing you things that I make with it. And remember, there's free shipping in the U.S. for orders of $99 when you use the code June Ship. So if you're buying that maker, there's no shipping fee on that, guys. And again, I'll ask you to use the codes in the description if you do decide. Now, to get to Design Space, all we have to do and I'm going to go up here to do that, click on design, and when I do that, it takes me right here, and again, I was signed out of it, so it's going to ask me to sign in, and right off the bat, it goes to all of the projects that I've done, 
along with many ready to make projects, some top video tutorials, cards, Father's Day, home decor, infusible ink projects, iron on projects, and on and on and on. You're always going to have many ideas if you don't know where to start. This is the place. Look at your images. Now, let's go back. And I am going to... Oh, got to get my keyboard first. We will set ours up real quick. Now, we've got to be in Cricut.com. Slash, forward slash, that is, set up. And yeah, I want to leave the sign I'm in. Let's get started. And again, they're reminding us about the scheduled maintenance. Okay. And we are doing a maker. I said I wasn't going to buy a maker till it was purple, but I just couldn't, couldn't hold out anymore. Okay, I've plugged it in, done everything I'm supposed to do. I have not hooked it up to my computer because I'm going to do Bluetooth. So I'm going to continue. Maybe I have to plug it in in order for it to Bluetooth. I don't think so, though. Okay, please wait. See, it's Bluetoothing. No Cricut Design Space found. So maybe I need to update. Okay, so I do need to plug it in. That's good to know. We're going to go back. And try this again. Okay. Cricket. We're learning something, guys. Forward slash setup. And remember that cord that I said I sh shouldn't have to use. I don't even know where it plugs in on this computer or if it does plug in. I don't think it does. Lordy me. Now, one end of this is a USB, and the other is for the computer. I'm going to have to jiggle around a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Mine, I have to have an adapter on my laptop. So... I am sure I didn't hook up the last one that way. Oh, you know why I didn't hook up? You know why? Guys, I gotta lift the lid and I gotta turn the machine on. I don't have to hook up that cord. Do you hear it in the background? Wonder what that noise was. Okay, so we'll continue. We've got to hit the power button. Then it says, please wait. No cricket device found. Okay, the power will change color and your machine will restart in a few minutes. Okay, I've got to go get the adapter for this laptop, which I needed anyway because I needed to be able to hook it up to my, uh, for a different reason, to my router here a while back. So I've got to get that, I guess. We're going to try this one more time. Reload.
Okay. I'm going to spin my laptop around. I know it doesn't affect y'all, but I'm going to look one more time. I know my laptop doesn't have that. So I'm going to have to take my laptop to the store too, I guess. And find out what connection I need for this. Unless that's it right there. Let me try. We're learning a lesson. No, that's not it. That's too small. That's the one I think that I need right there. Okay. So I need that cable anyway. So we will teach you this in the next one. Let me go back to the camera so you can see me. This is the end that my laptop does not have. Okay, I have the USB. There we go. I have the USB, but I do not have, let's see, that's the USB. I don't have this end on my laptop, so I cannot connect. Okay, so that's what I'm going to have to get. And we will do that in the next video. I'm on my way to the store. But before we do that, let me show you this image. This is on the Cricut website. And it says, your next creative leap starts here. Guys, it wasn't but one day ago I was typing on the computer to someone, Judy, saying how I made that leap of faith purchasing this Cricut Maker. Now, not to go into details, but it's a big leap for me right now. And I've done it. And right off the bat, yesterday, I mean today, when I opened up my Cricut.com, this was on the intro page. So, if you're thinking about it, don't hesitate anymore. Go ahead. If you've got it sitting in the closet and you're too scared to open it, Go ahead and do it, guys. I'll help you through it step by step. Message me. We'll go step by step getting it connected for you. If that's what it takes, I will be glad to help you. And till then, subscribe. Ring my bell for the next setup information and us making the new project. I wonder if my Bluetooth's on on my computer. Maybe let's go back. Hold on. Let's go back. Can you see my screen? All settings. I bet it is, though. Bluetooth. Bluetooth is on. Off. On. Add Bluetooth. Other device. I wonder if we're everything else. No, nope, this is all it's picking up. Let's go back. Wireless display, dock. Other kinds of Bluetooth devices. Echo Show, Bass and Bass Maker. Looky there. We learned something together. Now I think it's zero 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 zero. One, two, three, four. 
connect and maybe one, two, three, four. Your device is ready to go. Done. Look at that. Gosh, I'm glad I thought of that. Okay, so we can go to continue. Let's see if it connects. The maker is connected now. Select software update firmware below. Setup incomplete. Unable to complete machine setup if the issue persists. Contact Cricket. Okay. So let's go back. may have to get that cable after all, and that way we're learning together. Because it may need it to update. Okay, we're going to go to cricket.com slash setup. Leave. Well, this is kind of exciting. Maker. Okay, what's this pink say down here? Please power. What did it say? Oh my gosh. Maybe please power it off and back on again? That's what we're doing. Okay, I turned it off and then I've turned it back on. I do have 10 inches of space too in the front. Hit continue. Please wait. Maker is connected. And it did change color. Look right here where it said the power button will change color. Did y'all see that? If not, rewind and pause. Okay, by continuing, you agree? Yeah, I've already agreed once for the there too. See, comes bundled in a collection of images. I bet I'm going to see things I've never seen before. You're only a cut away. There it is. There's our next video, guys. I'm so excited. So, I will see you when I make this and we'll do it together. Okay, we learned something. And we did it together. And that's I'm, that's what I'm telling you. I will be happy to help you in any way that I can. So subscribe, ring the bell, comment, and share. And take care of that thumb. I do appreciate you in every way. Also, try to become a patron at patreon.com at Huntress Habits. Not at, but forward slash. You know what I mean. Detours. Remember, guys, detours still lead to your destiny. Just like I was saying, the, you know, I, I didn't buy the maker. Maybe I should have. Things would be at a different pace right now. But maybe not. They're still going to get me to this same destiny that I have. I know it's going to happen. So thanks for joining me today. And I'll see you in the next video.